Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my Fear the Walking Dead Comic-Con video. So, they actually released, they, they didn't release a trailer for Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. I thought they were going to, but they did release two really cool scenes. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I think the trailer is actually done for Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. They just, for some reason, weren't ready to release it. Because I've heard that the trailer is done. And, um, yeah, I don't know why they didn't release it. They showed up two other scenes. But as of now, yeah, I have that. Uh, or I guess we have that to look forward to, right? But they did actually get into a lot of stuff here. And I, I made some notes on some of the bigger things. But I do want to get into the scene here and just talk about Fear the Walking Dead and, and stuff in general. I don't know when this is going to go live, so we'll have to see. But I'm recording this before the World Beyond panel and the Walking Dead final season panel. So obviously, if you haven't checked out those videos, those videos are probably going to be on the channel. Because I know the final season trailer video is going to be up first. And um, yeah, so just stay tuned for all that. If you are new here and you do want all my Walking Dead content, just make sure to be a subscriber. There's going to be so much to talk about. The final season premieres in under a month now, in like three weeks, basically, three, three and a half weeks. So super, super exciting. Also, Fear the Walking Dead is premiering on October 17th, and I will be covering the show week to week, doing reviews, trailer breakdowns, just like I did for season six. I am very, very excited for season seven. I really can't wait. Based off of the teasers here, Man, they, it looks really incredible. Season 7, I think, is going to be just like Season 6. I, I really can't wait. They, they found something here with Fear that is making the show really great. And I hope they just kind of stick with it, but we'll have to wait and see here. Um, Like I said, Fear the Walking Dead is premiering on October 17th, which is what I actually thought. I figured that World Beyond, and I, again, I, I don't know yet. My other prediction is that World Beyond uh, Episode 1 of Season 2 is going to premiere on October 10th, the week before the night of the walking dead uh season or i guess i guess the first part finale that's kind of my my prediction right now so we'll see in like 40 50 minutes from now we're gonna find out so we got two teasers today we got one with morgan and we actually got one with uh or morgan and grace and then we also got one with june and john and there's some really interesting stuff there like honestly fear the walking dead feels like this nuclear western that's like nuclear apocalypse slash western that's exactly what it feels like. And I, I actually really do like that they're going for that vibe because it makes the show feel so different than The Walking Dead. It actually it has its own identity. I would say at this point, it definitely does. So I, I'm I'm really excited for it. Also, Alicia Denham Carey is going to be making her directing debut in season seven. I don't know what episode yet, but that's really cool. It's, I think it's her first time ever directing. So that's that's exciting for her, obviously. And I, I really can't wait to see. I, I love when the actors direct their their own show or different episodes and stuff. And yeah, I really can't wait to see what, what that's going to be like. The CRM, they will have a role in season seven, um, but it's not going to be in, in terms of the mythology of the CRM. It's going to be with a few characters specifically. They're going to focus more on those core characters than the CRM mythology. But in a sense, I guess what those characters have experienced and all that kind of adds up to the CRM mythology. And so what I'm thinking that is, is basically... There's going to be some other characters learning more about what Isabel's doing and all that. Um, and I guess uh, there's the whole Althea and Isabel relationship. So they're going to explore a lot of that. But again, we're going to have those characters like Daniel and all of them wondering about the helicopter and all that. So there's going to be that type of stuff. We're not going to go to the CRM, I don't think. I think this right here was practically confirmation because they, would, they definitely would be dealing with a lot with the, the mythology if they were going inside the CRM, then you, then you have to. But because it's focusing more on the characters, I think Isabel and them just dropped them off somewhere else because they're like, well, I can't bring you to where I'm going because shit's going to happen to me. Like, bad shit's going to happen to me. So I think that's what's going to happen there. They're going to go to some other place and then they're going to they're gonna get more into Althea and Isabel's relationship. I think we will learn more about the CRM, but nothing too crazy. Honestly, if you want to know more about the CRM, I think that's that's the Commonwealth, or Commonwealth, that's uh, World Beyond and like the Rick movie and stuff like that. But I hope they give us some more stuff because they're going to be asking questions. So there's little things like that. But I have a feeling that they're just going to kind of hold on to that information for a bit, stretch it out as long as they can. Cause I just, that's just kind of my prediction with that. That's my experience, anyways. But like I said, we did get our first season seven teaser. Uh, the first one that they released was actually between Morgan Grace and the baby, I think baby Morgan. And they are actually living in the submarine. And now I'm not I'm really going to ignore all the technicalities of all that radiation because I, I have a feeling that that's just not realistic to live in that. I know they're going out there with stuff, but I have a feeling I mean, no, but like that the radiation must get in the submarine. So I'm just a little confused on how that would work. I'm not like a 
I don't even know what you would call it, like a nuclear physicist and all that, like a radiologist, if that's the right term. But like, I, I don't understand any of this shit. So I'm just going to assume that whatever for the show, I'm just going to ignore all of that. But I like the environment. I really like the fact that it's lit. It literally looks like an apocalyptic world. I know before it was, now it definitely does. The world, the environment that they're in is just messed up. Um, I don't know why they're not leaving, why they're stuck there. They could have left. I don't get why they just, they're they're stuck there. Maybe it is the radiation. Maybe they actually are safe inside the submarine, but they don't have any food. So how are they surviving? I guess Grace or Morgan, they'll put on that, that suit. They'll go out there and try to find another suit, try to find more things, and they'll come back. Are they going to be doing that for years? How long are they going to be in there for? So there's a lot of questions I have like that regarding just that story. Uh, it was really cool, though, to see Grace in that um, hazmat suit, I guess you would call it. That was really cool. I, I actually really liked that that vibe. And I, I remember we got something like that similar in season five, but I ended up not being anything near that. But it's kind of cool that Grace knows a lot about this, though. Like she is experienced in this area. So I do like that. Also, no time jump, it seems, at least as of now. It, it doesn't mean it's not happening, but in the first episode, it's not happening. And I think that actually makes sense. Like, I still think they're going to do a time jump. I just have a feeling that for the first few episodes of the season, like episode one is going to focus on Morgan, Grace, and the baby. Episode two will focus on like June and John. And then episode three will focus. You know what I mean? I think they're going to do that. They're going to do a an anthology-based storytelling, again, like they did for Season 6 in the beginning, and then in Season 7B, they're all going to reunite, and then they might do the time jump and etc., and then things start to kind of unravel and they get to that point. But that's kind of my prediction for the season. There was a lot of casting information. I don't know the names of the actors, so I'll definitely have to update you guys on in a different video, but they also released another teaser showing John and June. They were underground, and then there's just a bunch of shit going on. There was actually like this shelf of a uh, bookshelf or something. I guess they had a bunch of alcohol in there. That fell down. Part of the wall fell down or whatever, and they find Teddy's old torture room, which I find that's a little too convenient, but whatever. It's a part of the story. It's, it's totally fine. And yeah, uh, J John knows right away. He's like, this is where Teddy tortured all those women like years ago. And this is like going back to the 70s, I believe, when he was at first arrested. And so that's that's definitely terrifying to find that. That's going to be an insanely dark episode there. But they do find the room. Again, that's just my question with all of this. How are they going to explore those characters? Because like they literally can't leave. Like they can't go out there. And I mean, I guess maybe they can. But like, there's the radiation. Like, like, what do you do? You're gonna die in there. There's, you're gonna run out of food. So, like, what do you do? I, I have a feeling that maybe because obviously that was. Oh no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. Teddy's torture room. That that wasn't convenient. Why? Because they literally went into Teddy's bunker, right? Because remember they went there with Teddy and Dakota at the in the season six finale. So you know what? Um, I'll take that back. That's actually not that convenient. Obviously, they went inside Teddy's place. You're going to see that there. So yeah, obviously not convenient there. But where do you go next with the story? Like some of the characters are going to have to leave. I really hope that the first part of the season or first half of the season, sorry, isn't just this big showcase of this is the, what they're going through. And then more of the action starts in the second half. You know what I mean? I, I don't want like the first couple of episodes. Fine. That's totally fine. I just don't want it to be the first part of the season. I'm praying there's a time jump. There, there seems to be a lot of really interesting things. I think the characters are going to try to save the others. Like, Isabel, we know, is coming back for Fear Season 7. I don't even know if she was in Season 6. We heard her voice. And the season, season 6 finale, it didn't even look like her. I mean, they didn't, she didn't take her helmet off, so it's probably a different actress. Because she wasn't talking or anything, I don't think. Unless if she did, it was just a recording. So I don't actually think it was her. But if she does come back, or she is coming back in Season 7. So I think that the storyline there with the CRM and with, like, Althea and Daniel and them is going to be... We got to go back and try to save Morgan and everyone else. There's going to be some characters that they just can't save, you know, like Dwight and Sherry, uh, John and and I guess John and June, they could save if they actually go. Like if some people in with Alicia, if they know about Teddy's bunker, they might try to go there. There might be a secret tunnel that goes there Like they might actually find out from from that. Right. So that wouldn't be too surprising there, I guess. It's more of Dwight and Sherry. I don't know what the hell happens with them. They're probably just going to leave or wait it out. I don't know what's going to happen. They're with a different family, too. So we'll see what happens there. Morgan and Grace, everyone knows where they're where they are. So they'll, they'll probably just go there. But yeah, you know what? For for a Comic-Con panel, this is it, w it was cool. I didn't actually watch all of it. I'll definitely watch all of it later on. I just wanted to watch the teaser trailer and just see 
a lot more of what they had to to announce. But I did actually want to add something here to the tail end of the video because I, I, I'll probably do a video on this later on. But I, again, I have to watch what Scott Gimple's going to announce. So maybe I'll just end up talking about that if he ends up talking about the Rick movies at all. But Robert Kirkman actually gave kind of an update. It's not really an update. It's the kind of updates we've been getting. But he did talk about the fact that it is taking so long for this this thing to come out. And he actually said he's as frustrated as everyone else is. And like I, I do know that some of them are, they are in that at that place where they do feel like they want the story. And that's what Norman Reedus was saying too. Like, I think that's the hard thing that they're trying to figure out right now. They know a lot of stuff. Like he said, there's a lot of exciting things. There is a lot of stuff planned. They have a lot. They've, they've been talk, talking about a lot of things and they just can't reveal it yet. Then there's got to be a reason why. And I think in the end, we'll know. And we'll know before the movie comes out. Whenever that trailer comes out, the title, everything else, once that stuff comes out and they release other information, then we can kind of be like, wait, why didn't you release that before? That would have been fine just to say that, right? We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We have no idea. And uh, Robert Kirkman seems to be exactly like he, like he said, he's as frustrated as we are. He wishes that they would say something, that something would come out that they can kind of release something. But they're really working on trying to make this a good movie. And like I was saying, uh, Norman Reedus said they're trying to figure out what the movies are going to be, you know, in terms of the scale of the movies and their, and their place in the Walking Dead universe. Uh, is it going to be the cinematic universe? Just uh, these kind of standalone, like, you know what I mean? They're trying to figure out everything. And so that's why I think there's different drafts and they don't know what to go with. They're like, we can do this where this is going to set up this movie and all that. But what if we don't do those movies? Because what if we can't actually make enough money to do all that? And so maybe we should take that up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's a lot of those type of decisions going on where they're like, maybe we should just focus on Rick and they're trying to iron everything out. So I can, I definitely can see them, you know, I can see why it's taking a long time. But as of now, it's kind of, it's frustrating and I'm mad. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below on Fear the Walking Dead and etc. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>